Welcome to Lucky Episode Number Seven, where we undertake a stealth mission and either kill or don't kill, depending on how nice I'm feeling, a bunch of sarfish worshippers. Let's find out what I do. We were able to capture the tugboat without killing any caravaneers. Thank With me for help, that. Duke and I infiltrated the bridge town. If everything goes as planned, we'll soon leave this place. Our next target, the bridge mechanism control booth. I'm torn. These sarfish people are awful. But I do try and avoid killing people in Metro games because I know that there's like a it's typically a karma system where you do good things or bad things. And it's not as obvious as that, or I mean, sometimes it is. In the first game, you had to make exactly the right set of decisions to get the good ending. Um, but I've already killed people in this episode, or the this playthrough. It kind of makes you in the train yard. So I don't know. I'm torn. They are assholes, so they kind of deserve it. And really aren't guns technology. So they're they're blasphemous. I'm just doing them a favor, right? Okay. People are sleeping. Sounds like I don't really care about the person, but I'd like to take any stuff they have. need stuff, so I have to at least knock them out. Stop your prayers. Watch him patrol the second that I leave. And then raise a panic because his friend is knocked unconscious. Shield us from the touch of evil and the breath of evil and from its temptation. And save our souls the way you saved our lives. 
to serve your will and confirm your power here on earth again, just as you have confirmed it in heaven. And give us strength to triumph over Satan's minions and punish us. <laughs> Thank you for your generous gift to the Baritone Bear Needs Stuff Fund. Do I need to go up this? Looks like it. Duke's gonna die, isn't he? And the skies rained me, sire. And the ground burned to ash. And the seas boiled. And people turned into shadows. But our cloister survived. For the faithful reside here. And the Lord, in his mercy and wisdom, has chosen one among them who goes by the name. And so speaketh the Lord. I will be with you and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion. Provided you reject satanic technology, we reject. And even also, do you reject Satan's deception? That thing they call electric current. The curse is good. I don't know how they don't see me. So the pain but. fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. We reject. Amen, my children. For the electric current. His Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be led through by the Sarbid. Glory, Glory to the, the fish. Glory to so the fish. The ones who would attack our cloister, even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we Open. will not fall down. Let us steel ourselves against them, for this is our hour of glory. Amen. Amen. I should save. So let your hands slay the enemy servants with no rest or mercy. For we carry out there are two men there. Lord, and it is his retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates shall scatter like dust in the wind. His will be done. Can't get in that way, that's what that says. I like how there's conveniently a thunderstorm every time you need to do something. Can you walk away? Thanks. No open. No open. Yeah, 
Of course I was quick. I'm super sneaky, secret agent man. Don't shoot him, Duke. Don't shoot him. Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers. Hold your fire. You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots. Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. You will have to check here. Duke here. We've reached an agreement. They will let us through. We don't shoot them. We slow. We don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Kill you loud and clear, Duke. We're out. All hands. Hold your fire and kill the order. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> Duke didn't die. And I didn't kill anybody. I should be proud of myself. I deserve a cookie. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. I don't know that they believed that we weren't right. demons. We had them we at gunpoint. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it. No matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. So it's just people being paranoid, as people do. That's also why people buy lots of toilet paper. Paranoia and craziness. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Hey, guy. The colonel wants you on the bridge. Why are you in the room of my wife and I? Come on, wake up. Seems intrusive. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did, smoothly. It's not I'm a like smooth there's criminal. many of us humans left now, so I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because, because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. You're not bothering me. You can talk. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. Oh. Hello. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those Daddy ruins would not back approve. in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Do you even remember oh, what a bungalow no. is? There's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking I mean, it back, wasn't very private. Isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Hey, sometimes that's all you need. A little gunfire to get the blood going? You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years, and they haven't. So what? 
These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They are just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They didn't have communities. They are essentially slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night. Always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, what the community? Salantius. They don't even they were threatened. property. Even their socks belong to the community. They're just entranced with him, with these ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily. People are crazy. They? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna... <coughs> Katya and Crest never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. I mean, the Nazis are still out and there. If they are, then they didn't. We know that from previous games. About them back home, they didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us, lying nonstop, all this time. Were their intentions good, perhaps? But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. I can tell. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But the father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant. Be careful. The enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot. No matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I mean, that's kind I of what I assume. find out how deep this rabbit hole is once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well, what do you know? I do feel better now after telling you. That's what I'm here for. Thanks for To listen to my e-wife talk. Let's just sit here a little. Mm-hmm. She said, let's sit here. All right, run along. Dad wanted something. Okay, fine. You told me you wanted me to sit here. Now you're telling me to go. That's just rude. Uncle Tom, Uncle Tom, Uncle Docker has already set his shop up. Nice. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Note. Oh man, I feel bad writing, reading this. Dear Daddy, I write this so you know where to look were to look for mommy and me when you come back. Cause mommy and I wanted to stay, but Salantius says we must go to the tower and leave this car, and I don't want to. I wanted to wait for you in the car, but mommy said sad I can't. And Salantius sad you won't coma back because you failed the test of faith. He is a stupid liar because you never needed any test as their faith is dumb. I remember you said so. Mommy said nothing, but I know she is waiting for you too. So please come back soon and take us away from this fools. I love you very much. Nastya. Fit for a king, I must say. Darn tootin'. Yeah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of All my weapons are in wonderful condition. I have roof. This workshop happened, so thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. 
trucks. It's the true they don't. Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's How do I have so little buckshot? I, I had so many buckshot. Suits, but I'll have to, and soon. Huh. It's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Huh. Don't Whatever. The plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. Oh, smoke break. That's good. <laughs> oh, this is one mean smoke. I'm sure it is. Yeah. I better get going. The colonel wants me. Whatever colonel wants, colonel Come gets. Come in, have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. So good at this game. Wait, wait, wait. I have to stop. I have to stop. YouTube copyright strikes. Wait. <laughs> I forgot. No music allowed. Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. It's true. Sometimes you just need to get it out. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. You trying to sweet talk her? Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. I'm not. I'm not gonna listen to that. Stop it already! <laughs> Quite cool. Oh, oh, what did you expect? The waiting for you on the bridge. <laughs> so, what's up with your plate carrier? Tucker was mad. I like how they just label him idiot. Come here, Artyom. I'm here. So smoky. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mjolnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. A aerial loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? It sounds like you're talking to a nerd. They're still lying, or they're dumb. One of the two. Were you hoping for an army? I must 
maintained our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. That's suspicious. Yeah, this isn't what we think it is. is now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. I'm even more doubting Thomas now. The minister himself. This is incredible. By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight to the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So we can hope for a smooth sailing from here and right to the very destination. It's not even that far. But I'm... Easy. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long My journey. My monitor just went out. Direct Hello? radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved. What are you trying to pull here? Towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. It never works like that. Never. Because... Aliens. Sorry. This isn't a Spielberg movie. Railcar, what's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abundant, but the truck is okay. Still just call him idiot. Roger that. Don't go too fast and watch out for radiation. Wonder if that's an actual name in Russian. Idiot. I still can't believe this. I, I don't think so, but do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for twenty years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. I agree. Don't say that. Robert Carroll, it's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and put them up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, master. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for our human me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? <laughs> Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. Would we not, like, mount a gun on this shindig? That lift was just a little too long. If they've been bombing it, maybe there actually is Russian place hidden here. Yeah, guys, 
seems to have done okay. Why do I feel like I'm gonna have to walk all the way back? Like that. I want that. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not tough. Look, th this is a bad place. Now, we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get it. It will not let me off the car. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Bye. Look! I don't trust you. Wrong button. And where are your people, Carl? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. It's a trap. It's so deserted here. No gun placements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. Idiots! For us all to crowd the government, so you two better stay with Crest. Yes, sir, sir. Yes, sir. It's almost like he doesn't trust them. So quiet. Did I'm you glad I'm not the only one. Speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. And the door opens and you die. Nope. Anna dies. Just kidding. Nope. He dies. That doesn't look suspicious at all. Not at all. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you?
But I shot like four people. My bullets wasted. I told you. Shit's rigged, yo. Now we wake up. And they're Nazis. And we have to break out. What the? Where am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I, I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. That's a lie. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor what are those is people talking? doing up there? Just like Where waving back and forth. The government answer. All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just you're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of hers. Untie my hands, you motherfucker! She's got the consumption. Have those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting. Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. It's because he's plotting how to kill you all. That's what RTM does. <laughs> Not a single. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov! <sighs> Colonel, I'm sorry for your death. After I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse myself. These men are just bobbing. They're crazy. The last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you now. Burn this tomb to ashes. So that not even the dirty fools Now we'll be full again. Good. I like that. He didn't even know he was coming. Just ducked it. Here. Colonel, sir. I think that's Thank enough. You, but it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna. I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it. Idiot. Start the main elevator up. Loot. Loot. Elevator on the move. Hit the air. One minute. Over. Yeah, I'm gonna stand here and... Yeah. No dying today.
Hello? Let me in, then. Hold, please. Oh, you can't use backpack in combat. So sad. Great job. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge. And we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Okay. You check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Your floor, Artyom. Alright, it's just me. I got off. What do you want? Alright. Now let's make some bullets. Boop -ba -da -boop. Yeah, we'll stick with two. If I take more damage than that, I'm doing it wrong. Note. I just lucked out. Missing the construction milestone was the best thing ever after all. I think I was so upset about that stupid bonus. What does a pile of ash need bonus for? Now we have it made. The government didn't arrive after all, so all the complex is ours with all of its stores. The bunker was supposed to save a whole town, and there's just a couple of thousand of us. The only problem is in the babe department. But we'll just have to wait till the radiation's dissipated and calmly walk down the mountain. Or rather, crawl up from under it. Some fucking luck. The government didn't arrive for a reason after all. The thing is, somebody did a better number on food reserve budget than on the construction one. We did manage to build the thing, even if late, but the stores are empty. Sure thing, all quartermasters are crooks. And they had it coming, but the bastards were telling the truth after all. The shelves are empty. Well, there are some seeds and pasta, but that shit won't last us even a year. So they've been in here for 20 years, eating people. They're loony. Um, I might want these. Okay. How do I activate them? What's that? I hate not knowing the buttons in this game. Ugh. Night vision. E. Hello? That's not the button that it is. man. Alright, I guess we just make do with what we've got. No night vision for us. We're good. We don't need it. That open? Nope. Just 
Hold still. Oh good, we're already using our two med kits. This isn't going to be a sneak mission. I was really hoping it was. That was gross. Stuff. Loot, please. stuff. Taking your stuff. Did you come from? Thank you for your stuff, but boy. Stuff's gross. Have you found her yet? Hurry up. Every no. I have not. I cannot find her if I am dead. Come on, AI. Come around the corner. We're glitching back and forth there. Oh. Got him. They wielding. Oh, that's a pipe. Okay. I was like, are they wielding bones? That would be terrifying. Nothing in there. So, how do they decide which ones get eaten and which ones live? How do you stay in power at that point, you know? It's fine. It's meat. Nope. Alright. Those. Nothing there. Why are you just standing in the fridge? Don't understand. Doesn't make any sense to me at all. Alright, this is gonna go well. I'm gonna get jump scared. Scared. Since they can see in the dark, apparently, anyway. Might as well turn on the lights. How do 
I get in there? Right there. Nice. Secret area found. Lots of free loot. Please. Note. Everyone just sits still. The stomach doesn't even bother me anymore. Good thing I don't listen to the fools about drinking a lot. It'll last at least a week more. Joints, joints swollen. Hard to write. I don't think I can write about this, but I must. They made a soup a week ago. Five idiots in the barracks keeled over at once. They gobbled it up and burst their gut. I couldn't touch it for a day. Then I tasted a bit at night and hurled immediately. But in the morning, it tasted like chicken. At least I can write again. Thought I was a goner for sure. Hmm. You, uh, you are apparently a goner anyway. But you hid for a while, so there's that. for your stuff. Apparently the steam is unhealthy. Thank you for your stuff. Gee, I wonder if that's a hint to go around. in the bathroom. Man, that man can jump. Come on, run around the corner like I know you want to. this crap. There is meat, but what are you going to do at about it? Run at me with sticks. Not your most effective strategy. This is sanitary. But there's stuff. Really all I care about. No stuff. No stuff. Stuff! Being so nice giving me more ammo. Why can't I read the crazy men's journals? Got him! That is a head in a jar. Just in case you weren't aware. Loverly. That's such a nice photo. Give me your stuff.
Come on. There we go. Always be on the lookout for stuff. Your stuff and my stuff and all of the stuff. That man had a gun. Why did he use a stick? Thing. I can't see you and you can't see me. Oh, he's dead now. Got him. But then where does this lead to? Can't handle the decisions. Get out of my face. To the looting simulator. Hello? Like, oh, wait. Four people. Stuff to loot. Notes to read. Fucking let them in. Fuck the radiation. It's been over a year. They are outsiders. Don't even need a share. Let them draw lots or whatever. The point is, we have food for months now. Hurt all over. Fever. Thoughts tingling. Doc sad shit about some privens or some f f the outsiders had them. The fucks should have rosated them. Fucks better now. Too late now. Prions. They'll get you every time. Just drops in there. Get. Okay. What? How did I take damage from that height? Boy. I'm gonna waste my perfectly good crafting materials on more healing because I am a dum dum. Luckily, I have lots right now. It's almost like killing a bunch of people is good for my crafting skills. Also a good thing they don't know how to handle a gun. Just sitting there spraying and praying. What crazy people. Okay, there's more of you. Come on. Just pause while I loot your friends, please. that blind? The answer is yes. Yes, you are. Don't mind me taking your stuff. 
Taking your stuff. Oof. That was unfortunate. Luckily, I have a million supplies right now. So it's fine. What could go wrong? Hitting the switch. Nothing. The answer is nothing. But this is the way to go. No, thank you. Um. Surrender now. This man has a lot of HP. Just supposed to avoid him. Maybe we're supposed to throw one of these at him. Where'd you go, friend? I think that did more damage to me than him. Awkward situation. I don't know how to kill you. I guess we use this gun and hope it kills him. I shot you in the effing head. You better be dead. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this. You know? Wait. I want it in place of this gun. All right. Strip my own parts. We now have the minigun. Don't have many bullets for it, but it's fine. I should craft more med packs. That is what I should do. I may also have to swap my pistol for a shotgun, because I feel like they've been dropping a lot of that ammo. Easy 
clap. Give me your stuff. All of you. I need it all. Can't open that. Ooh. Note. It's been a month already since we became rats in a hole here, and what do we have to show for that? We don't even know if anyone's still alive out there. All the antennas were destroyed, and the radiation levels are so high there's no way to fix them. Though, even if the antennas were okay, would anyone have any reason to contact us? Bigwigs never arrived, after all. Looks like the construction workers are alright, though. We better get ourselves comfortable here, as we're in for a long run. Those idiots with the, that council of theirs, I would forgive the workers if they came up with bullshit like that, but why would the officers want to play those games? Just to be able to push the blame onto the government decree when they cut rations again? How is that supposed to help, if there simply are no food reserves no matter what? Lunacy. The doctor is right. We, the radio technicians, are here for a reason. We will not just save our comrades, we will also help thousands of survivors outside. The only thing we need to do is fix the antennas, let the real government know we're alive. They will send us food shipments, and then the ARC project will provide a shelter from radiation for all survivors. And what could be more important now? Sad day. Wonder if that's the man that's sitting there dead on the table. Can't open any of those lockers. So sad. No free stuff. Hey, look, Santa. Artyom, I knew. Behind you. There is always one like you, a hero. You're not saving anyone. Just like the others. And so Anna gets him. Yes, yes. Then Let just, him just go. Don't kill me. Now. Uh, remember what I told you. There was an ex Enough chatter. That's why we married her. Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Stuff. 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 It's me. Stuff. Oh, no stuff. In the sick bay, Artyom found me. Thank God. Well done, Artyom. Where do they go now? There's an elevator straight down the corridor. It goes right to the command center. Let's go. Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. This is gross. So I'm looking at all of it. Yeah, there's no stuff in here to loot. But there's a note! Nothing can be done. They have five days at most. At least Doc says he can give. At least give them something for the pain. Who could have known that they'd be up there to fix the antennas? Boys, should have told me. Should have at least worn the suits. It's up. I just sent the first message. Made it. The boys are still alive. Aloshia even smiled when I told him. At least now they'll know they didn't die in vain. So I got the radio online, and they removed me immediately. I can't even get any news. They say it's all secret. Put guards at the door, too, the bastards. And they struck me from the special rations distribution list. Way to reward honest effort. This is terrible. How did the others survive all this time? It's only been two weeks, and already I can't think of anything but food. The others had been getting the same ration for months. Two more weeks. The legs are getting swollen. The workers told me I'd drink too much. I have no energy to move. Even writing feels like hard work now. Apathy, at least. The hunger's a bit blunted now. They are heard. They heard us and came. Yes, they're just refugees, but they're here. Soon we'll get the supplies. It's not too late yet. Everything will be fine now. Of course, the refugees are quarantined for now, but soon I'll be able to ask them about everything. I heard the quarantine will last longer than we... Though... As we must thought. They brought some bug with them. They also brought rations, though. We've been given meat and broth for now. We couldn't stomach anything heavier anyways. What a great feeling, though. Whole body feels warm, and the taste, unforgettable. 
I don't get this. A second group of refugees. They also brought supplies, but it's just meat. No grains or anything. And they're all quarantined too. While the last group has been there for over a month now. Why haven't... We haven't been get told a thing about the situation in the country or the government. Why? I must have a frank conversation with Doc. He'll oblige for the old friendship's sake. You coming, darling? This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Zelantius with his damn fanatics. But look at my giant new toy. But no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. No Hippocratic Oath we'll there. see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. I should give her one of my guns. Miller's pissed. Thank God. I wouldn't ever forgive myself. I'm all right. Who could have known? Who knew these these creatures here kept eating people for 20 years? Could you imagine that? I'm sorry. I got carried away like a greenhorn recruit. The minister was going to see me. And conceit me to be pleasant. I even saluted those ghouls. Some fucking ark. These monsters have it made me. Like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these. Alright, but what do we do I'll now? I'll be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs. All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <coughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't now? know, Anna. We have to make the decision together. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. He's been useful. I don't think I can just call him idiot. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? Stuff? 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 <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is allotted to me with that guy over there. I'm grown attached to him. It's because I keep saving your life. Yeah, I understand. Why are none of these people carrying anything? Makes me so sad. So sad. I'm just going to use her as a meat shield. It's fine.
what do the heck? That was close. So many of them. I am not wasting any more ammo. Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. I agree. from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ, that we were under occupation, that we were still in war, that there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, suka. I mean, yes you are. Sorry, not gonna lie. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? What Could do we, we go do? Back to Moscow. Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel around me. <coughs> He's not an idiot. He's too helpful to be an idiot. The satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. If she Aren't dies from her cough, I'm gonna be pissed. It's such a, like, <laughs> lame way for a video game character to... die. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. That doesn't seem very efficient. Also, I was not really aware that there was desert in Russia, other than, like, cold desert. Learn something new. I have to Google it after this, see if it's true. Or if we're going somewhere that's not Russia, which is possible, I'm not but in love doubtful. with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here.
Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, do. get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Always. Tartium. I save you, not the other way around. The car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. All right, then. Christ. Let Can me save the game. Train? It might, but... Really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the car wouldn't be needing any help. Hi. What you got there? Can't go that way. All right. We're finally out. Find out what happens next time on episode 8. I can count correctly.